Hi, I'm Philip Bridges and today we're going to uh, do a little bit of a review on the uh, Milwaukee M18 Fuel 3-in-1 Backpack Vacuum. Um, this is a nice little uh, backpack unit. Uh, it retails uh, for the unit itself around uh, $299. Um, <clears throat> the model number is uh, 0885-20. And then uh, that comes without a battery, but they also sell a kit option where you can get the battery and it comes with the charger, it comes with the 9.0 battery, and that retails for $449.99. And that model number is uh, 0885-21HD. So uh, let's take a look at some of the features that this bad boy has to offer. I'm really excited about this. Uh, Milwaukee product as I am with all Milwaukee products because um, I just love love uh, what they make and what, what they always come out with but um, uh, this uh, vacuum features about two times more suction than any other traditional uh, vacuum and it has Milwaukee cyclonic technology in it um, it's three times quieter uh, than a normal uh, vacuum uh, backpack vacuum and it ranges at about uh, 76 decibels on high uh, and it comes with a, uh, a nice uh, HEPA filter in it which I'll pull out the container. Uh, the HEPA filter is nice because it's uh, compliance with uh, OSHA with their dust management system so this this filter pops out just like this and then to clean it off you just kind of tap it around get, get all the dust out and everything. Um, the one thing that I noticed uh, it really with this vacuum um, when you're doing a lot of drywall uh, cleaning up drywall dust and stuff it um, I found that it you got to clean this out quite a bit because it tends to lose suction when uh, you're picking up the fine dust particles you know kind of like with every every uh, dry vacuum and this is a dry vacuum this isn't a uh, wet dry vac so you can only pick up your uh, dry dust particles like sawdust and you know drywall dust, concrete dust and whatnot. Um, this has uh, the Milwaukee Fuel brushless motor system in it uh, which is I, I love their brushless motors I, I think it's phenomenal. Um, the unit itself weighs about 15 pounds so uh, it's it's not too bad it's not light or not not light it's not heavy at all uh, on your back when you're using the backpack system. Um, it's really nice. It has a uh, turn this around. It comes with a detachable six foot tel uh, not six foot uh, hose, flexible hose. <clears throat> That's the word I'm looking for. Um, and it it has a nice little 90 degree pivoting. Uh, pivoting system on the, on the side that goes into the unit. Um, clips into the unit really, really good. Doesn't pull out. Um, I found out that uh, the little clip on the end is really nice because um, I can hook it to my portable uh, chop saw. Just uh, hook it right up, right up there and uh, the clip holds on onto the uh, back of the saw where the dust comes out of the saw and you can turn this bad boy on and it'll help uh, keep the dust debris down on your on your sawdust when you're making your cuts. Um, so <clears throat> this also comes with a one gallon flexion tank that's really nice. It dispenses just like a normal cyclone back wood into the uh, garbage. It just has one button push the button, pops down, dispenses all your dust particles into the trash can. Now we're going to talk about the uh, removable harness system that comes with uh, this backpack unit. It comes with an integrated hook and to unlatch the backpack all you have to do is there is a button underneath the, the base of the backpack you push down and the bottom pops out and then the, bot, the top is going to slide down after you pop out that that top piece or the bottom piece, and then the unit, it's, the backpack unit itself, will come up detached. Put that off to the side right now. 
And so, what I like about this little feature of the vacuum is it has an integrated hook, which can pull out, you can clip it on a ladder, you can clip it on a 2x4, um, you could even take the backpack unit off and you can use the integrated hook and just clip it onto the back of your, uh, your truck. Uh, if you have a van and you, your shelving unit's in your van, you can just have it clip onto the back of it and then you could just mount it there for storage and then take it out when you need it. And so what happens, uh, what you got with this too, you got a buckle which is nice so like if you do wrap it or put the hook on a ladder or a 2x4 you can pretty much you can put the buckle around it and you can you know secure it so it doesn't accidentally you know get knocked off or whatnot so that slides back in right there uh, and then to put this backpack unit on it, ta it takes a, a little bit of uh, getting used to taking this on and off but once you get it it's pretty simple the there's two clips on the on the top and the two clips will have to go in first and then they slide up and then you can pop the bottom base of the backpack in it in. So we're just gonna, I just tilt this, tilt this back, we're gonna put the top in, slide it up, and then pop those in. All right, we're gonna talk a little bit about the tools. We have a nice uh, telescoping wand that we have. It's uh, an aluminum telescoping wand. This thing is built like a tank. I, I, I was very impressed with how this was built. I thought it was going to be plastic and it's not. So the how to, how to uh, you, you can tug on this all you want and it's not going to it's not going to extend out. So all you what you do is you basically the little black piece you hold on to it and then push forward and then it telescopes out and then you know when you're pushing and vacuuming and stuff this is not going to retract it you know, it locks in pretty good. So, and then just to retract it, you just hold on to the black piece again and then push it back in. It's a really nice setup. Um, I love this thing. Uh, okay, and then another thing that it also has, that off to the side, is a uh, floor tool attachment. So this is really nice. Um, it has, it has a, uh, a rubber strip on the back it's it's good for on cement and like hardwood floors and whatnot it's not very good on carpet it gets <clears throat> kind of caught up with the, this r little rubber piece on the back side when uh, you're you know vacuuming on your carpet floors or if you're cleaning up any debris on carpet so uh, they kind of need to work on that I, I really really wish that this would have came with a brush floor attachment too, and a handheld brush attachment. It doesn't, and I, I think Milwaukee kind of failed on that because you know you're spending you're spending three hundred dollars on this unit, and you you think you get uh, quite a bit more attachments with that, especially a brush attachment, which you you can go to the store and get a br brush attachment for this, but you shouldn't have to because you're paying good money for it and you know they're not the, the attachments aren't expensive but it would just it, I, I me personally I think it would be nice to have with the unit itself you get the complete unit of all the different floor attachments and handheld attachments for it but you know you can't have everything I guess but yes you can you can go buy it and you know then you can have everything <laughs> But um, another attachment com that comes with it is uh, this Trevis tool. It's nice. It, it comes with almost every Milwaukee vacuum attachment or Milwaukee vacuum that you get is this little Trevis tool. That works very nice. Um, another nice attachment that it's a simple attachment basically, and it's the attachment that goes on for your dust uh, extractor adapter for your tools, which you know. If you have a jigsaw, a sander, a cordless sander, uh, if you have the uh, Milwaukee um, concrete drill, um, this will hook up to it and you can have this bad boy running so you're not blowing dust everywhere when you're drilling a hole into concrete and, and whatnot. So that's a, that's a really nice uh, little attachment. And you know, your attachments, they clip onto this backpack 
they just they got little bungee attachments that you know they just pop right on there and then they sit they sit there and this one just slides through this one has like two little bungee holders so it's not just flop around it's actually held in pretty securely so uh, that's really nice um I forgot to add that this vacuum does have a uh, high and a low and uh, it's not very loud at all. Um, I will grab a battery and we will test this vacuum system, the unit out itself. Um, I'm going to grab, you know, it comes with the, it comes with the 9.0 battery. I've got a 12.0 because 12.0 uh, 18 volt M18. So go big or go home, I say. Um, now with these batteries, I have a bunch of different ones. I got a 4.0 and I have the old, uh, like original uh, 18 volt uh, lithium XC um, and then I have the red lithium XC which is like a th equivalent to like the 3.0 and these batteries are going to affect your vacuuming time depending on how big the battery is so you're well, you can, it'll still take your old 18 volt batteries, but you're not going to have that much of a vacuum time. With this old uh, 18 volt XC, you're going to get uh, probably about 10, 10 to 15 minutes of vacuuming time on high. Um, and then it, it pretty much goes up from there. So you like your 3.0s, usually it's a, you know, you're going to go up to like 15, 15 minutes or and then your 4.0s and your between your 4.0s and your 6.0s you're going to go you know 25 minutes uh you can get about you can get about uh 30 minutes of vacuuming time on this 12.0 and same with the 9.0 it's about it's about 26 27 minutes and that's on high you can extend it uh if you put it on low you can get you know with the 9.0 and the 12.0 you can get almost 40 minutes 45 minutes of vacuum time so now we're going to, I'm going to just put this little 12.0 in there, little 12.0, right? Uh, and the battery slides in here, and they make plenty of room to get you, get the battery in there, so you know that they're making room for bigger batteries that Milwaukee is going to end up making, which is awesome because you know they're setting up for the future. So if we put this bad boy on, and wives out there, if you really want to have your husband vacuum the house, get him one of these because, you know, all guys want to feel like Ghostbusters and this is what you feel like. You feel like you're, you're a Ghostbuster, at least I do. And, you know, call me a nerd or whatnot, I don't really care because, you know, this takes you back to your childhood. Okay, so we got our boom attachment, telescoping attachment, We're ready to vacuum. Let's vacuum some stuff. Okay, right now I'm going to vacuum up some of the sawdust that's on, on the ground. Okay, um, <clears throat> you got your switch on the side. We're gonna we're gonna put it on low. And this is how this is how how loud it is on low. It's not it's not loud at all. I can pop over it. You know, if, if someone's talking to you on the job site, you can still walk around, vacuum up in areas and. You know, you still talk to people and you still you're aware of your surroundings, which is very nice because the job site, you know, you hear loud noises or someone's yelling at you to just stop doing something, you can really react to it. So, and then we can break it up on high. And high is going to give you more of a suction power. And it's just, you know, the decibels are going up to about 76 decibels, where at low they're probably around, you know, 55, something like that. But you know, you can still hear something that's around you, so that's really nice. And this this pretty much picks up everything. It's not gonna it's not gonna pick up big, you know, shake, wood shavings or something like that. It's gonna have a hard time picking up that, but you know your small debris, it, it, it's a really it's a really good vacuum for that. So It's really nice. All right, now if we want to get into little crevices, all we got to do is just 
grab our little crevice tool right here. So we just hook it on. You know, we can get right in there in between the cracks. We can get all this debris that we need out when we're cleaning up the job site. Now that we're back over here, let's let's take this unit off. I want to I want to show you one thing that I did not show you. Okay, on this unit, there is on the belt there is a little a little notch that you you can hook the hose to and slide slide that on the side of the belt and it'll keep the hose from you know flopping around or whatnot. And when you're not using it for storage, you can there is another groove on the side of the unit that you can slide the little clip on from the hose and so you know it's not hooked to the backpack unit itself that way if you do take the backpack unit off you uh, still have a spot to put the hose and so now what to do with this what do we what do we do with this does this you know does it lay on the ground what do I do what do you I store it in the truck you know no, it, clip, it does clip to the unit and <clears throat> clips on this side and it snaps in and it just clips on just like that. It does take a while to get used to of where your tools are when you do have your backpack on. That's, you know, that was the downside that um, I didn't care for. But, you know, in time you're going to figure out, okay, well, the wand attachment is on the left side. All your attachments are on the left side. At first you're, you're looking... For all your attachments on the right side if you're a right-handed person and well they're all on your left side same with the on off switch it's all on the left side and so that was something I, I had to I still have to kind of overcome is that everything is on the left side and I always want to reach to the right side well no your wand is on the right side and that's where you're gonna grab your wand when you're ready to start vacuuming so um, if you enjoyed this review on the Milwaukee M18 3-in-1 uh, backpack vacuum, um, subscribe down below. Uh, leave me some comments if you have any questions or um, anything about it. And uh, if you have the 18-volt uh, backpack vacuum, uh, let me know in the comments below if you like it or dislike it. Um, and also hit the like like button if you like this video. I'm Philip Bridges and. Uh, Thanks for watching.